here we are solving one problem on postfix expression this question came in one of the previous get exams see compute the postfix equivalent of the following expression so in this expression uh, we are getting the infix notation and we are supposed to convert it to the postfix we are having this idea that infix expression means a plus b operated will be in between operands and in case of postfix expression operator will be after this a and b so that is our postfix so now this is the respective expression so while solving this one these are the options are there while solving this one we should do the bracketing and nesting that means which task has to be done at first and which task computation has to be done next okay so now this is the bracket it is good so now this this has to be done then on this x plus 1 it has to be calculated and then 3 will be multiplied with it and then subtraction will take place so this is the nesting of brackets this is the nesting of bracket okay that means the full expression is nothing but this expression minus this so at the end i shall have this minus and this is very simple to write that is a 2 slash now what about this one this is nothing but 3 into this term. So 3 will be there, this term will be written and star will be coming. Again I am repeating, this minus this. So I shall be having this and this and then minus. So minus will come at the last. What about this? This is a2 slash. What about this? This is 3 into something. So 3 into and here the something will be there. And what is this? This is x plus 1. So x1 plus and log will be applied on that. So it will be 3x1 plus log will be applied on that. Multiplication will take place next and then a2 slash will take place and then this minus this will take place due to the presence of this minus. So now that is the expression. So let me check 3x1 I am having here in this 3. 3x1 3 plus I am having only here. So, 3x1 plus log star a2 slash minus. So, I shall, my answer will be going for option number B. So, in this way, whenever a very complicated expression will be given to you and you are supposed to convert it to the corresponding postfix expression, my opinion is that always try to get the innermost expression, then the outer, then the outer, then the outermost expression. And in this way, go on computing from the inner one. So, in this way the expression can be derived. Thanks for watching this video.